Hi there. I've been reading about this amazing new development in the world of batteries, and I'm excited to share it with you. Scientists in China have created a nuclear-powered battery that can last for a whopping 50 years without needing to be recharged. This is a game-changer for so many different fields, from smartphones and drones to medical devices and even space exploration. Let's dive into the details of this incredible invention. The battery, called the BV100, is surprisingly small and uses a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, to generate power. This means it can be used in even the most compact devices without taking up too much space. And the best part? It can withstand extreme temperatures and harsh environments, making it perfect for a variety of applications. Imagine never having to worry about your phone dying again, or powering medical devices in remote areas where electricity is scarce. The possibilities are endless. Of course, with any new technology, there are also concerns to consider. Safety and recycling are important factors when it comes to nuclear materials, and these will need to be carefully addressed before the BV-100 can be widely adopted. But overall, this is a truly groundbreaking development that has the potential to revolutionize the way we power our world. Explore how radioisotope thermoelectric generators work. We now call this process of producing electricity the Seebeck effect. Today we use the term thermocouple to describe the hundreds of small pairs of junctions made from different conducting materials that take advantage of this property. We now know that the greater the difference in temperature between the hot side and cold side, the greater amount of power that can be generated. Inside a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, these thermocouples are strung together in a long series so they can generate a steady current of electricity that can provide robotic spacecraft with the power they need to operate. Some of the specific materials used in RTGs are selected because they can conduct electricity as well as maintain a hot and a cold side. Seebeck used copper and bismuth in his experiments. In the RTGs the hot side is provided by the heat energy emitted from the natural radioactive decay, to undergo destructive dissolution, of plutonium dioxide. The hot side of the thermocouples can be more than 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 500 degrees Celsius. The cold side faces out into space or into the atmosphere of a planet or moon, where the temperature can be well below zero. In addition, since no moving parts are involved, the thermoelectric effect is extremely reliable. Over the years, the thousands of thermocouples in NASA's nuclear batteries have performed without any noticeable failures in all of the two dozen missions in which they've been used. For example, NASA's two Voyager space probes, powered by RTGs, have been carrying on steadily since their launch back in 1977. The invisible process of energy transformation from heat to electricity, discovered by Seebeck two centuries ago, continues to enable many of the most amazing NASA missions and discoveries, providing robotic spacecraft with the dependable power they need to explore some of the harshest, darkest, and dustiest places in the solar system. I hope you enjoy the article. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please consider subscribing. I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.